Good morning, you all. So I'm in the office today, seeing patients. Last night, um, I got back to Atlanta at like 12.30 because I did, I ran over from, so I landed at five and then there was a 5.40 flight on another airline. And for my airline, the last flight left to Atlanta at 5.15. So if I didn't catch the 5.40 flight, my next option would have been a red eye. And I did not want to do the red eye because I had to be to the office here today at 10. So we got everybody off. I ran over to the, um, well, actually I ran. Then I took the train to B terminal. I work in C and I made the flight. The flight um, ended up being delayed until like eight something because it was like a mechanical issue and it had to find another airplane for us. So I got back to Atlanta at 12.30 um, a.m. So it was still better than waiting until one a.m. Denver time to get back to Atlanta at six o'clock in the morning. And I got back to Atlanta at 12.30 this morning. And uh, yeah, I just went home, went to sleep and now I'm at the office. So I am still a little bit tired, but not as tired as I could have been if I had a, taken that red eye, which I didn't want to do. Talked to the crew for the other airline and they were very nice. And I actually met another flight attendant who was commuting to, he works for another airline. So that was really cool. Um, so yeah, now I'm in the office working. Um, I'm supposed to work tomorrow, um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So that means I would have to leave tonight to go to Denver. And I'm really trying to do what's called DRT and basically just give up my work day because I really need a break. Um, this is a busy week for me and I just, I need, I need the break. <laughs> um, so we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed um, that I can like get rid of my reserve, my ready reserve block. Cause last weekend, as you saw, I did not work at all. And I'm just like, dang, I could have been in Atlanta just, you know, being in my usual routine. So today, I hope, hopefully it works out so I can do that. And I can just be in Atlanta doing my usual routine and getting set in my new place. So we'll see what happens. This is Omi. She's coming to get an adjustment today. Yes, I'm a fellow flight attendant as well. Yes. I met Omi in training. That's how I know Omi. Yes. <laughs> So what's the trigger point? Explain. A trigger point is like, you know how you make a muscle, you gotta make a muscle and mm -hmm. the muscle flex? Mm -hmm. A trigger point is like that, but it's just a knot in the muscle. Oh. And it just won't go away. Well, maybe that's what, ooh. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what it is, it just hurts. How do you get that though? It happens just from different types of trauma, car accidents, falls, repetitive stuff. You know, we reach over our heads a lot. It's not like that reactivated. Know our job description. Oh. So right now I'm just loosening it up. Mm -hmm. So um, when I get ready to uh, do the release for the trigger point, it'll go a little bit better. So I'm gonna go this way. I'm glad you wore a thin shirt. Mm -hmm. I know it's gonna hurt. Relax your arm. Okay, you guys, so today is Wednesday. Can you believe that I did not have anywhere to work today? Nowhere. So I'm just running some errands, which include, I just took my dog to the groomer so he can get groomed. Um, I upgraded my iPhone and I got another iPhone and I was trying to consider if I was gonna do like an unboxing. I don't know, I don't know. Everything's still in the packaging. I really need to do it. And I got it like two days ago. So I really need to get my, well maybe, yeah, I got it on Monday, so I, or Tuesday. I don't know. I just need to get my life in order with that. Um, so now I'm about to go and pick up Maximus from the groomer. Yesterday I did go to the chiropractic office in the afternoon and um, I worked. I wasn't really busy and I didn't vlog anything I should have, but I did it. 
Um, tomorrow, I'm working in a new office that I've never worked in before. I'm working all day, nine to one, and then three to six. Then Friday, I work from 10 to two, and then I'm supposed to go to Denver on Friday night to work my three-day block. Um, so stay tuned. So I'm covering at a new office today that I've never covered at before. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Good morning. So I'm in the office um, working. I, it's Friday, so I'm working from 10 to 2 in this area of Atlanta called Latonia. So right now I'm doing patient notes. It's currently 1130-ish. So I've already been here for like an hour and a half working. Um, I have two new patients in the office currently, so that makes the day longer when you have new patients because you have to do like a new patient exam and then you have to talk to them and make good first impressions just things that you normally have to do it just takes longer versus like if you already an established patient and you have rapport with them so right now i'm just finishing up some patient charts and then I'll be done. So as you know, today's Friday, so I'm supposed to be headed to Denver tonight to start my ready reserve block for Saturday through Monday. Um, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that, but I'll probably be going to Denver tonight. There are seats on the plane. It's not gonna be a situation where last week I had to use my um, commuter policy to get to work um that was a whole fiasco so i vlogged that so i'm gonna leave that vlog up top so you guys can watch that but yeah i just want to check in i'm gonna end so in the state of georgia you have to re you're required as a doctor any type of doctor um in the healthcare field doctor of nursing doctor of pharmacy doctor of medical practice doctor of chiropractic any type of doctor to wear some type of um, distinction to let them know that you're a doctor. I wear scrubs all the time um, when I cover these offices um, because they're just easy. My scrubs are stylish. Um, they feel good. They're easy to put on. They're easy to layer. And um, I get my name, Dr. Courtney, chiropractor stitched on it. And that's me following the state rule of letting people know that I'm a doctor because I just wear it right on my chest and I still have people thinking that I'm the assistant and it doesn't bother me at all because people have been telling me I look really young for like the longest so it doesn't bother me at all it's just it's really 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 funny because you know I'll be up front talking to the assistant chatting about whatever and then they're like okay doctor Dr. Courtney I'll go by my first name too because my last name is not difficult just people just have a hard time remembering and kind of butcher it but um I go by Dr. Courtney so they're like okay Dr. Courtney um they're ready for you and I'll come in and they're like oh you the doctor I get that so much. And like I said, it doesn't bother me. I just think it's funny. I'll take that back. It does bother me sometimes. The only time it does bother me is when patients think that my level of knowledge is lower because they think I'm a young doctor. And it's really the opposite. The younger the doctor, the more knowledge you're gonna have because they're fresh out of school. They are following all the rules. They're doing everything perfectly. The information in their brain is fresher. So it's really better to have younger doctors. Yeah, the experience is not there, but the knowledge is very, very fresh. Now for me, I've been a chiropractor for 10 years in like a month, a couple months. I've been a chiropractor for 10 years. And for me, the knowledge is fresh. That's why I practice part-time because number one is my passion. My passion is being of service to people. So with me being a chiropractor, that leads right into that. But it keeps me fresh. I talk to my friends all the time. 
about things if we are confused about certain things we'll just like what do you think about this what do you think about this x-ray what do you think about this what do you think about this mri we exchange information back and forth but i just had to tell you guys that i get confused with being the assistant a lot and usually it's not like a big deal at all people aren't hesitant it's just they let me know that they think i'm real young and i don't know what i'm doing um but i just keep it moving i can show you better than i can tell you Came back to get my back, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got some movement in it. <laughs> the shoulder, you keep shoulder popping. I know the shoulder that is giving me a problem. I don't know what's going on, guys. But come visit Dr. Akri, okay? And subscrib